welcome, welcome, welcome to the Spice of Life Variety Show. We bid you holy greetings and we bid you loving greetings. We just bid you greetings from us to you. We know that your time tuned in to the show will not be um, one that will be wasteful, but we know that you will be benefited by what you will experience and hear on today's show. We invite you at this point to grab your pen and your paper, uh, copy down our contact information at the very end of the show, and just know that we invite your communication with us via phone, via email, via fax, mail. We just want you to know that you matter. And so whether it be a show suggestion, show comments, want to contact our, our guests, we are available to you. We again thank God for Bishop and Mrs. Blake who serve as our leaders and we just uh, want you to know that you are invited at any time to visit the West Angeles Church in Los Angeles Exposition in Crenshaw every Sunday morning 8 a.m. or 11. God bless you and thank you for tuning in. Evangelist Pamela Webb, how art thou? I'm great. How are you doing, Sunshine? Oh, are you doing good? I'm doing good. Dr. Lewis, you look beautiful with your thank yellow. You. All right. Thank you. Well, you know, I'm one of those people with chronic back pain. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so, that's you know, right. We, we, we need to talk to our guests <laughs> because the topic right. is physical therapy tips. Yes, that's right. Yes, so I need to hear some things, okay? Okay, <laughs> and although we have two wonderful, beautiful guests with us, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, introducing uh, the Right Reverend Mr. David Session, uh, the beloved <laughs> husband of our uh, guest that we will be focusing on, uh, Mrs. Katrina Harris Session, who is a physical therapist and have had the experience of that. And so we welcome you both <laughs> to the show. We say thank you for being here. Yes. And um, not only you, but you have a partner because uh, mm -hmm. David is also experiencing some physical mm -hmm. therapy. Um, but God is good. <laughs> and he's faithful because he's given his mm -hmm. wife that is um, <laughs> uh, expert in the field. And uh -huh. so he could, she could just hook you up, take good care of you. There you go. And so that's a good thing. Uh, Katrina Harris Session, you would like to be known uh, when you leave here as being a helper. And <laughs> that you have been. I've known you um, long, uh, many long years. Long time. <laughs> <laughs> I would say even when you were a, a, a young girl growing up, you know, and I've seen, uh, seen you help and sh give of yourself, share of yourself. You are a mother, you are a wife of David Session, you are a uh, physical therapist, you are a homeschool teacher, mm -hmm. you are an image uh, consultant, you are an entrepreneur, and the list just goes on, on and on and on and on. <laughs> and so we maybe we'll be able to hit on some of those various roles that you hit, mm -hmm. but for uh, the sake of right this right now time, we want to focus in on physical therapy. What exactly Define for us, what is a physical therapy? Wow, it's hard to define <laughs> because we do a number of things, mm -hmm. mostly to help people regain motion. That's primarily what you see us doing, and that could be uh, upper body, lower body, arms, legs, necks, mm -hmm. so a wide variety of things. So what now, one physical therapist uh, cover that, or are there different categories of physical therapists? There are different categories of physical therapists. There are pediatric physical therapists, oh. there are wound care physical therapists, there are oh. sports physical therapists, orthopedic. Mm -hmm. um, one person um, potentially could handle uh, one thing, but most of the time there's a specialty that you involved in, yes. Now what's your specialty? Well, I've done a little bit of everything. Oh, so you've mm -hmm. been, okay, yes, all around. Yes. Oh, okay. I've worked uh, outpatients, I've worked sports, uh, spent a lot of time in geriatrics with the elderly, um, mm. stroke patients, so mm. cardiac rehab, so I've done wow. just about everything, pediatrics. Uh -huh. um, what do you feel your niche, which, which category? Which Actually, group? the part that I enjoyed the most was when I was a home health physical therapist. Okay. And uh, surprisingly enough, I enjoyed treating the cancer patients. Really? Yes. Oh. I so home, home care yeah. man that you went from place to place? Home to home. Okay. Home yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. And and but it's typical of of your makeup <laughs> uh, and your heart being in that direction because again you've always been one mm -hmm. that have lent a helping hand in, in various areas. Now, have you always wanted to be a physical therapist? What what did you want to be when you were a child growing up? Well. Basically, I always wanted to be a physical therapist. I did my research, and by the time I was a junior in high school, I knew what I wanted to do. 
I wanted to be a doctor, but the thought of someone uh, dying oh. on me was a little too much. <laughs> so okay. I said, well, I don't want to do that. And at the time, I believe my mother was a nurse. Oh, so really? I, yeah, yes. so I didn't want oh. to do that. And so I researched and came up with physical therapy, went to uh, what they call shadow a physical therapist at Casa Colina Rehab Hospital in Pomona and just worked towards mm. that end. That's amazing. You yeah. are a mother of three. Do you see anyone else following in that area of interest in medicine in any area? Yes, my daughter, who is 13, Lachelle, mm -hmm. she wants to be a doctor. Does she oh, know that? Yes, she does. Wow. How and, great. And, and, and it's really uh, something because it was around this time that you established what you wanted to do in life. Mm -hmm. And so Michelle is establishing even now around about the same time that you did uh -huh. what she's wanting to do in life. <laughs> exactly. Huh? Yes. And uh, being the scholar that she is, uh, what, which area of medicine uh, does she want to go into? Which field? She okay. doesn't know yet. We're trying to make sure that she uh, stays with humans. <laughs> She loves animals so does much. She really? Yes, she does. Oh, oh my goodness! So. Oh. Now, how long? Now, how long were? You, how long have you been in the profession of physical therapist? Nineteen years. Nineteen mm. years. Nineteen and so years. you're not just a, a, a new kid mm -hmm. on the block. No, mm -hmm. not at all. Okay. Now, what would you consider are some of the greater challenges of your role as a physical therapist? Probably today, the paperwork and the government guidelines and the healthcare guidelines. Really? They get oh. in the way sometimes of the treatment that the patient needs. Really? Mm -hmm. mm. And now, um, what are the qualifications for being a physical therapist? Well, back in the dark ages, okay. <laughs> when I graduated, <laughs> it was a Bachelor of Science degree. Okay. Now it's a Master's degree. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh. And there's also doctorate programs as well. Okay. And mm. then you have to be uh, state certified or board certified? state certified, actually board certified for California, and there is a very intense exam really? to, be, to be licensed. Really? Mm -hmm. And how often do you have to renew that? You, every, know how long, how oh, you don't have to take the test ever again, but you have to renew your license every year. Oh, every, once, every, every one year? Yes, every one year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, usually people get a little grace. Oh, and no. You know what? Oh. There's no grace. No grace. Wow. Grace. Yes. Well, just so that we can hear your voice, uh, Mr. <laughs> David Session, uh, what, what, what's your spin on this? Has she been able to apply some of these physical therapy moves yeah. uh, uh, for your benefit? Yeah, I lost a lot of skin. <laughs> <laughs> so you lost a lot of shit. Yeah, that was the guinea pig when oh. she was going through school. So. Oh, but it was good. Sweet. It was good. It was good. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, do you work more as a physical therapist? You work more on referrals or you work, work more on uh, people calling you up directly? Or how does that work? Most of the time we work by referral from a physician. Okay. Hmm. You, uh, would you consider uh, uh, would a physical therapist be considered like a consultant outside? doing your own, being your own lead, your own head, or, or you're independent, or are you dependent upon? To be safe, you need to have a covering. So okay. most of the time, you need the physician's diagnosis and all of the testing that you hope that he's done in order to uh, treat the patient mm -hmm. correctly. Okay. Now, the name of the show is Physical Therapy Tips. So what are some tips that you can share with us common people who have not gone to mm -hmm. school for physical therapy? Probably the biggest thing that I would say is take ownership of your, um, I don't want to say problem, but whatever your concern is. Don't say, well, the doctor didn't send me to physical therapy or the physical therapist didn't tell me to do any exercise at home. Mm -hmm. You take ownership and if you're not recovering the way you think you should, ask the doctor to send you uh, for a physical therapy consultation or if the physical therapist hasn't given you a home program, ask, now what can I be doing on my own? Mm -hmm. Especially if you're only going once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. And so that's the best thing. And then even when your physical therapy treatment is over, mm -hmm probably due to insurance guidelines, mm -hmm. ask, now what else should I be doing? Mm -hmm. How can I complete this even though my insurance has stopped paying? Mm -hmm. what is, so, so in addition to exercises at home or whatever the case may be, what might uh, be useful at home uh, in recuperating or, or, or aiding ourselves as far as becoming back mobile? You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Uh, number one is um, probably, say for a back patient, mm -hmm. 
watching what you're doing, you can't do things the same way that you used to before. Um, when you're lifting something, you have to use your legs and not your back. So just remembering to do that. Mm. Don't get in a hurry and go ahead and say, oh, well, just this one time I'll bend mm. over from the waist. Mm. Um, if, you're, if you have a high card, switch to the card that's a little bit lower so you don't have to climb into, you know, you see people with, with back pain and you just treat them and they feel wonderful and then they jump into so, a, a high yeah. SUV. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh well, uh -huh. that, you know, so mm -hmm. that's what I would say. Just to, to be aware, not to be um, tied down by your injury, but to be aware. Mm. What is some, uh, 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 if one is having, let's say, a back injury, Okay. how can, what can we do? Shall we slap some heat on it, some cold on yeah, it? Yeah, that's take, the thing. You know, yeah, take medication. What? What, what, what should we do? And, and we understand that, that the, you, you, you're just sharing a general mm -hmm. sense. You're mm -hmm. not giving us a directive. Right. Uh, mostly what, what we do depends on the person's tolerance, but um, usually I would try ice or heat first and to um, give, it a, give it a, you know, a good shot. You know, the ice is cold, yes, but see if it um, relieves the pain. Mm -hmm. It's uh, provided as a more of an anesthetic. So if you put it on for 10 or 15 minutes and, and you really check to see if you feel better, mm -hmm. then you can really decide from there. If that doesn't, then try the heat. Mm -hmm. But most of the time there's inflammation and blood is rushing to the area, so um, usually the ice is the first treatment of choice. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, what any type of movement uh, would you recommend? Um, not right away. Okay. recommend decreasing the pain first. Decreasing the pain. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, of course with the physician's um, directive, then you can decide to, to try to move. Now, um, if you know what you're doing, then you can, but mm -hmm. if, if not, it would be best to get the pain down and then to see the doctor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To see the doctor. Wow. What gives you, uh, Katrina Harris session, you are a woman, as we indicated, with many hats. You are a wife, you are a mother, uh, professional woman, mm -hmm. by, you're a physical therapist by trade, uh, have even retired. Isn't that a trip? I know. <laughs> oh, we still, I'm still working. Um, but anyway, uh, physical therapist by trade, uh, you're a homeschooler, entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. What gives you the greatest joy of being Katrina Harris Session? The greatest joy is that, thanks to my wonderful husband who's provided me the opportunity to, to mm -hmm. stay home, <laughs> is to be able to, um, how can I put this succinctly, if, if someone was in the hospital and you know their family's working, I have the opportunity to go and to, mm -hmm. to be with them during the day. Mm -hmm. That gives me the greatest joy to keep them company to mm -hmm. that kind of thing um, to volunteer if there's a, a conference going on I have the the flexibility flexibility to go and to volunteer for a few hours mm -hmm. to help with registration those kinds of things mm -hmm. to allow you to really function in that role People. that you really mm -hmm. like which yes. is yeah. being a helper right and has freed you <laughs> uh, and and as you reference uh, your husband has uh, him being the faithful husband that he has been, he has made that possible mm -hmm. for you and for your children. Right. right. What What do you What do you What would you say uh, in addition to your roles? What are your future goals for life? Do you have any future goals for life? <laughs> oh, of course. Are you doing everything now? <laughs> I mean, come on. How can you not have goals if you stay at the feet of Jesus? He's going to give you ideas. Mm. Mm. And you know, sometimes you're like, oh, I don't want to go because I don't want to hear what you're going to say. <laughs> 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 but um, if you're praying and you're gonna you're gonna have ideas, you're gonna have entrepreneurial ideas. Mm -hmm. It's just to have the faith to to uh, bring them to fruition. Mm -hmm. And so um, we just opened a bed and breakfast mm -hmm. in Pomona. Uh -huh. Okay. And so right now we opened one room, and so the goal is to open all three rooms mm -hmm. and to provide a place to um, for people to rest and refresh. Mm. Oh, Again, awesome. I hear that helper, and I yes. see that helper. People, we, people. We can't get away from people. who you really are, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wow, that's amazing. And you are n even you have your mom in the home, and yes. in, in your home, and so you are providing assistance for her. Yes. What that's is right. that journey like uh, when the roles reverse? It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. interesting, and. Um, I know that she appreciates it. Sometimes it's hard for her to show, but yeah. I know that she appreciates mm -hmm. yeah. the, the safety mm -hmm. and the stability mm -hmm. and not to have the stress of trying to remember to do certain mm -hmm. things or that kind of thing and just to, to yeah. walk out her room and there's food on the table uh -huh. and you know, all of those kinds of things and the companionship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To be in a Definitely. safe environment, right. that is important, huh? Right. 
So now, where do you fit in all this picture with uh, with your wife in these mini hats? I mean, what's your spin on all this? I Mr. just Session. I just do all the work. <laughs> you do all the work to she provide the work. Keep her doing what she's doing, which exactly. is free. I get the fun. Oh, <laughs> now that's that's really something. Now, uh, what do you see your other children? I know you talked about your daughter uh, wanting to pursue medicine and becoming a doctor. What do you see your other two? You know, I don't know the the. Uh, the oldest one uh, will probably be an entrepreneur at some point. And um, the youngest one, we say, is going to be some kind of communicator. He's going to be a motivational speaker or a preacher or something that involves oh, talking. Okay. Talk, you know? mm. yeah. Because you're getting your fair share of that. Your fair share. There's <laughs> yes. evidence. And, evidence. Only, and he's only five, right? right. And evidence. he's very clear of speaking his mind. Well, hey, well we need some wow. politicians. Yes. We, we need several areas that can be very clear. Yes. Um, um, now, what also would you want to show with our um, viewers about whatever, about image, image, your image um, consultant? consultant. Mm -hmm. What is an image consultant? Well, basically what I do as an image <laughs> consultant is I focus on the inside, trying to match the outside. Sometimes we are um, getting back to, again, having entrepreneurial ideas. Uh -huh. We are executives on the inside, but on the outside, we, we don't look the part. Wow. We are very um, homely and that kind of thing. We're wearing brown and other colors to try to hide. So my, my joy with Image Consulting is showing um, ladies how they look in different colors and with makeup on and just embracing who God made them to be. Mm. Uh -huh. Now, uh, and, so your, and so resistance come from what, a person not believing their worth. Right, mm -hmm. right. Or a, a, de a specific color. Oh, that's too bright for me, and they look so beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and just and never, you know, embracing the fact that you are beautiful, and this is how you look, and you are. Uh -huh. You really are. Mm -hmm. God made you beautiful. Look at your wonderful eyes, your smile. All of those things are wonderful things that God gave you. Don't try to hide them, change them, oh. operate on them. You know, mm -hmm. all the things that we mm. do today. Alter, right. Yes. right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because really, God was the best image consultant. I mean, he was the number one mm -hmm. image consultant. Mm -hmm. yes. He knew what eyes, like you right. said, the eyes and mm -hmm. the nose and the hips and all like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And he said, perfect. That's it. Yes, that's mm -hmm. what he said. That's good. Huh? Yeah, that's what he said. How does one become an image uh, consultant? Lots of classes, and there is a certification, certification test as well. And also, um, you have to practice on people. You have to, to do that. And so you would hold uh, seminars and, and, okay, for instance, um, uh, the different skin tones mm -hmm. will, 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 will define what we should wear and what we should not wear? Right. Okay. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so uh, are you able to, uh, okay, I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm going to put myself on the spot, <laughs> yes. too. Uh, what, would you, what would be your recommendation to me? Oh my! That's right. Yeah. I don't, That's have, right. don't have any of my color. Oh, I, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if I really want to hear this. But anyway, okay. I don't have any tools with me to do that. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So I would need color drapes, and we would uh, have uh, cosmetics with us, and um, different styles of clothing. Okay. And so, oh. you know, as far as I can see, you're doing very well. That's a very attractive color, both mm -hmm. of you, oh. that you have on. So. Oh. Definitely. Oh, oh, so we passed. Hey, we don't fail. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm glad it was you. But that's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. You see, she coming. You see, she got behind I'm me. I'm gonna let you be alone. Okay. <laughs> let you be out there. She didn't want to hear it. If you had it coming, she didn't want you not want to hear that. That's cold. That is just absolutely cold. Um, what else might you want to share? Because you you are a woman with uh, uh, a lot of experience. What about mm -hmm. homeschooling? What has been your experience in home homeschooling? Homeschooling is joy and pain, of course, <laughs> when you have children underfoot 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So don't, <laughs> so don't be fooled. You need to get a break. Just <laughs> don't be fooled. Um, but the joy is uh, when they are around, they're singing uh, praise songs and they're quoting scriptures. And the five-year-old that we spoke of mm -hmm. is knocking one. on the door. Is it time for school yet? Oh. Mommy, I'm back from recess. Oh, interest. Can oh. we start school now? Will uh -huh. you read to me? He loves to sit in my lap and all those wonderful things that you can't get back mm -hmm. when they're 13. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Teenagers. Uh -huh. so. oh. What brought you to the conclusion of homeschooling? Well, I didn't agree with what uh, public school does, okay. especially for sixth grade. Okay. Um, 
for my son for sixth grade, we were living in an area where sixth grade was in elementary school. But when it was my daughter's turn, sixth grade was in middle school, and I did not think she was ready for middle school. Mm -hmm. Just don't agree with that. So I was always going to homeschool her for sixth grade, and here we are at eighth grade still homeschooling. Really? Oh. So, just so God's grace. Oh. So, so, so what did, how did you have to qualify to uh, be in a position to homeschool? There, are, there really aren't any qualifications except for the desire to um, to teach your child, mm -hmm. the desire to be patient enough to make sure they're getting what they need to um, change your schedule to make sure mm -hmm. that you're available during those hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and of course, you know, grading papers, but there's so many different curriculums and programs and online um, help. Just last night, where the library actually had uh, live tutoring help, and so she was able to pop on and get help with her algebra oh. problem. Really? Yes. That was that. that was mm -hmm. awesome. It was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, what what subjects tend to be your your strengths? Math. Math. Actually. Oh, okay. Math. Really? Mm -hmm. And which one did you shy away from? English. English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> from one end to the other. Right. 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 Wow. Now you also serve. You are an OO. You're operations officer of your husband's business. Mm -hmm. um, what does your role in, uh, include as the operations officer of your husband's business, and we won't necessarily see it at this point. <laughs> what is that? The funny part? Uh -huh. Oh, he does the work, and I do everything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not that's fair. <laughs> I'm being shafted here. <laughs> uh, I make sure we eat. Okay. That's my role. Okay, okay, okay. All right, then. So basically, billing. Mm -hmm. Uh, sending out invoices, uh, keeping track of where he's been. Some days that's very difficult. Okay. And the, the people who are helping mm -hmm. him, keeping track of them, paying them, um, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what, I, I really I really love the role that you're in because I like versatility. I, I don't I, I don't want to just... Stuck right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just doing the it's same stuff, thing all right. the time. You know, mm -hmm. your day might include a variety of, uh, mm -hmm. well, you know, apart from school homeschooling, but, you're, but you have opportunity to uh, have your hand in a lot of different areas, mm -hmm. and, and that's, that's exciting, huh? It is, it is. We also have an opportunity to minister with the role that he's in because, you know, sometimes we get a, a call for bereavement, and so mm -hmm. then we're off doing that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it, you wow. never know what we're the day is going to hold. <laughs> I'm going to put you in the hot seat, uh, David Session. Oh. Give me three, uh, what would be three adjectives that you would use to describe your lovely wife, Katrina? Be nice. And while he's thinking, uh, Katrina, you think about the same thing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and, and, and you guys have been married for 18 years, right? Yes. So you know a little something mm -hmm. about each other. 18 years and three children well, later, yes. you know a little something about A little something. something. So how Very would you little. describe your wife? <laughs> um, well, one, beautiful, uh, consistent, mm. and faithful. Wow. No, it doesn't get it doesn't get oh, wow. He gets an award. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's award. oh yeah, that's <laughs> wonderful. That's wonderful. What about you, Katrina? How would you describe your husband? Probably the first thing that comes to mind is loyal. Oh. Mm. Very loyal. Wow. And diligent. Mm -hmm. Diligent worker. Mm -hmm. Diligent. And um committed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we say yeah. mm -hmm. Well, or is there anything else that you want to share with us on any subject? I know we've kind of gone across uh, the alphabet, uh, but is there anything else you want to share with us? Probably two things. As far as physical therapy, if you're using cane, crutches, walker, any of those things, make sure it's the right height. Okay. Don't hurt your back oh. by having it the wrong height or, or um, get a, a shorter one because it might be a little bit cheaper. Okay. Get the right thing. Oh. So in other words, if you if one is bending over, that's right. too short. That's not right. Yeah, that's right. So so so, so yeah. what's what's a good rule for choosing a cane or 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 that is to walk as though that you you are walking naturally or what? Yes, the cane is actually supposed to go on the um, good side. That's the mistake that everyone makes. Oh, it's, oh, it's supposed to go on the good side. Mm -hmm. And you put it out with the injured side at the same time as a support. And everybody puts the cane oh, on the injured side. Right, exactly. Because mm -hmm. I, that's what oh, I thought. Yeah, no, you help, you yeah. help the injured side. <laughs> oh, okay, so we've learned that. Okay. That would okay. be number one. And then what else? Would you because there always, there needs to be a little bend in your arms, and everyone has them straight when they're right. using the walker or crutches. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, that's just not not the right way because you need a little bit of flexibility in your elbows to get the power that you need. Okay. All right. And then as far as entrepreneurial things. 
um, just strike out. You have the Lord as your as your um, helper, and so don't be afraid um, to strike out. Mm -hmm. Just strike out. Yeah, just give it a shot, and you know, just to try to get your directions from the Lord. If that didn't work, say, okay, Lord, you gave me this vision. Mm -hmm. That didn't work. Now, what do I need to do? Mm -hmm. But don't don't be afraid. Just mm -hmm. just strike out. Just strike out. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, to you, our audience, we mm -hmm. want you to know that we have had this opportunity to mm -hmm. share and sit at the feet of Katrina Session, and we also have discuss uh, the name of our show was and is physical therapy tips mm -hmm. but we have covered a lot of different areas because this is a woman who has a lot of different roles mm -hmm. going on in her life and um, I know that your heart has been challenged by uh, her spirit by what she's doing by her information and so one of the things that she said is that if you feel a drive just go on and do it uh, I'm pretty sure that she's had some frightening experiences, you know, in stepping out and doing what you do, right. but but you've taken the faith and you've taken the courage and just did just that. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and that's a good, uh, that's just a good word for all of us to yes. remember just to step out. And then also to we celebrate the relationship that you and your husband have. Mm -hmm. And so we praise God for that. To you, our viewing audience, whatever may be happening in your life, know that God is the solution to that. Know that we love you and just know that we celebrate you. And so if you're sick, Take ownership, that's what that's, that's the first right. thing ownership. Katrina said. Take ownership mm -hmm. and then get some help. And just know that you are in a special place to receive a special blessing. We just, again, invite you to uh, visit West Angeles Church, Chris Shaw and, and Exposition on any Sunday morning. Uh, we'll be happy to have you. And Pamela, any last word you want to say? Oh, no, I'm feeling fine. I'm okay. feeling great. you feeling but great? thank you for those encouraging words, oh. stepping out on faith oh, okay. and trusting God. All right. Any concluding word you want to say? No, I think she covered it all. She covered it all? <laughs> all right. So until next time, God be with you. Grab your pen and your paper. Uh, take down our contact information. We love you, and God be with you. Thank you, Katrina. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, no, no, that's okay. <laughs>